What's going on dudes? Today on Games in 5, I'll be covering Blandia. Now Blandia is the sequel to the 1986 arcade game Gladiator, but what's interesting about this game is that aside from the game Time Killers, it's one of the earliest weapon based fighting games to ever come out, but unfortunately it was overshadowed by SNK's Samurai Showdown. Unlike most other similar fighting games at the time, Blandia was one of the first fighting games that combines the style of Capcom Street Fighter 2 with weapon based combat. Another unique feature it has is the ability to cause visible damage to the armors of the characters originally used in Gladiator. However, unlike Gladiator, Blandia requires players to attack at the uncovered parts of the opponent's body multiple times to defeat him or her, instead of one hit. In one player mode, the player must choose one of the original six warriors to control, instead of fighting other characters in a random order like in most fighting games back then. Players will move the sword shaped cursor on a map to different areas on the map in which the characters reside in. Fight against them in each battle and then advance to the Golden Castle. Pretty simple. Now this game is really fun to play but it's very glitchy as you'll see in the upcoming gameplay. It's pretty fun to attack different parts of the armor and see it fly off and then you know you're going to do big damage so. Now I really like the idea of a fighting game containing mythical ancient Greek god characters. So I like what they got going on here. And it's actually a blast to get through. Kind of like an ancient foreigner a little bit I guess. Anyway, enjoy guys. Yeah. 